If you have FPS drops while gaming, fear not, because there's a reason you clicked on this video, and there's a reason I made this video to help you. I'm going to be starting with common reasons as to why you get FPS drops, and then I'm going to be giving you all the fixes. So make sure to watch the full video. I know everyone says this, but it could be any of these reasons, and it could be any of these fixes that fix the issue. So you may as well do them all. The first reason would be thermal throttling. Sounds complicated, right? This is basically just overheating. So if any of your components, particularly your CPU or GPU, gets you hot, it reduces its speed by itself to prevent damage. This is kind of a safety feature it has. And this in turn can cause sudden FPS drops. Another reason could be background processes or just, you know, general system tasks. This could be a Windows update, a Windows Defender or other antivirus scan or, you know, whatever it may be that kicks in and activates and starts doing as you're playing a game. Or it could be those very annoying applications that you probably don't need on Windows that sit in the background, bloatware essentially, like, I don't know, OneDrive or Google Drive or anything that has like a cloud sync and suddenly will just, again, start working in the background. Moving on, another thing could be your power plan or power fluctuations in general. So particularly your laptop, if it's running on its battery and you don't have it plugged in. So this is a tip for you laptop users. Always have your laptop plugged in on charge while gaming. It may run a little bit hot, but honestly, in this case, it's actually kind of better because if it's running totally on its battery and it isn't on charge, it's going to throttle performance to try and save power. Or for my desktop PC users, you could have an unstable PSU. So a power supply or your power supply could be unstable or just outdated, you know, and voltage drops, you know, they cause hardware to behave out of order, you know, and go all over the place and your FPS suddenly drops. Alternatively, it could be driver or software glitches or, you know, just outdated or corrupted GPU drivers. And this isn't just GPU drivers. You have multiple other drivers on your PC. Some people forget that and they only really talk about graphics drivers, but your PC has loads of drivers for like literally every piece of hardware in your system. There's a driver for it. And in tandem with this game updates also do, you know, have have an issue or not have an issue inherently, but you know, can cause an issue. Moving on, I'm going to kind of speed through this because there's quite a lot. Memory RAM bottleneck. So if your RAM usage hits its limit and you haven't optimized your RAM correctly, this could, you know, cause your system to swap from using the RAM actually to disk, which is going to cause many stars, especially if you have, you know, bad storage, bad hard drives, bad disk, you're not, you're not on an SSD, it's going to cause problems. Or low free RAM or slower memory in general. So outdated RAM or, you know, you're running like six, four gigabytes of RAM, of course, it's going to result in some momentary free as it, you know, is struggling. The next thing could be insufficient cooling or even just dust buildup, which in turn would, you know, cause insufficient cooling essentially. So this could be dirty fans or your heat sink or just your anything, your fans, your whole PC really. Yeah. Reduced airflow could just be because of loads of dust buildup, which, you know, in turn leads to overheating and in turn then results in throttling. Or even it could be a malfunctioning fan. So literally the fan that spills fans that's spinning in your PC, if one's running particularly slow for some reason or it randomly stops, this will will panic your system and cause a temperature spike, which is going to drop your frames. Again, to clarify, a lot of people do not realize that a hot PC, if you physically touch your PC and it's very, very hot to touch, that's definitely the reason. But that's not to say it couldn't be the other things as well. So again, that's why we are going to stick around to the end, guys, to see the fixes. The next thing, though, quickly, again, I'm just I'm going to zoom through these, I promise. I, I do ramble a little bit, but it's because I want to be very clear with you guys. So I'm sorry about that. But it could be game engine or server side issues. So either just a generally poor optimized system or server spike. So, you know, this is, doesn't just relate to FPS. It could be lag or, you know, latency issues that sometimes feel like FPS drops. We'll be, again, we'll be also tackling them today. And last but not least, overlays or recording softwares that you probably don't need. So this could be a Discord overlay that you can disable in its settings. We'll show you how to do that. NVIDIA Shadow Play, OBS, or anything that is really running over your game or even in the background to capture the game can cause sudden FPS hits. I know you probably want them, but yeah, the truth hurts. So finally, 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 all of the fixes. These are all the fixes. I again, suggest you do all of them. I'm going to run through them and try and explain them to the best of my ability. So the first thing would be to monitor your CPU temperature and temperature and sorry, usage. If you 100% this isn't the problem, you can skip to the next thing or just again, wait because you don't want to skip too far ahead accidentally. Honestly, I've done that before. But yeah, if, if your PC is hot, download monitoring tools like MSI Afterburner or something called HW Monitor, literally like the letter H, W and then monitor. Have a look at your CPU and GPU temps. And if they're too high, so for GPU and CPU, this could be anywhere from you know, if they're pushing towards 85 degrees Celsius or 90 degrees Celsius, yeah, this is a problem and you're likely throttling. What you want to do in this case is clean and optimize your cooling. So dust out your PC physically, turn your computer off, of course, or, or your laptop and use either a compressed air can or just a brush or just, you know, just blow, just blow and clean out those fans. I'm telling you, if you have never done this and you've had a PC for a, even a few months, it's going to be insanely dusty and you will understand why afterwards this was causing a 
a problem. For PC users, you can also potentially reapply thermal paste if needed. This is recommended every couple of years, so only do this if you've had your system for a long, long time. So moving on now to something kind of outside of temperatures, although, you know, indirectly this has, you know, they kind of relate here. But yeah, close unnecessary background processes. Open your task manager, go in Windows. You can press Control Shift Escape, I think, to open that. But if, if not, just press Windows key, type in task manager, go in there. And anything that is, you know, high CPU, you can literally see it there. Or anything that is using high disk usage or memory, get rid of it. Just end the task, right click it, press end task, or just go into startup apps. You can even do this in Windows or it is in your task manager somewhere. It's a little bit tricky to find, but disable anything at startup that you don't need. You probably don't need lots of it. Just get rid of it. The next thing, the next fix, update all your drivers, all of them. Every driver update, you can use something called C Cleaner, which has a feature to update all, all your drivers, but I honestly think it's, you have to pay for it. So yeah, maybe there's an alternative option. You can, you may have to look for that. I've always used C Cleaner, but it's because I'm already paying for it anyway. And this is not sponsored by the way, but if they want to, hey, C Cleaner, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. But the main thing, which is 100% free and you don't need C Cleaner for this is GPU drivers. Go in your, in, you know, for NVIDIA, NVIDIA GeForce Experience program. For AMD, I think it's called AMD Adrenaline. And for Intel users, I think it's called like Intel Driver and Support. And go in there, check for updates, update your drivers. And also Windows updates. Go in your Windows settings, just type in check for updates or updates and you'll find it. Update your Windows. Moving on, very, 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 very important. I can't stress this enough. I can't stress this enough. Change your power plan in Windows. I've mentioned this so much on my channel. I have multiple other videos on it. I've got a whole like Windows optimization video, which will show this plus other tips. So I suggest you watch that after this. But simply put, if you go into your control panel, then click into hardware and sound, then click into power options, you'll find something called power plan. Select either high performance, or if you have it, select ultimate performance. Just click it and voila, you are done. And for laptops, I feel like I already mentioned this in this video, but if not, keep your laptop plugged in, which will avoid battery based throttling. So this is kind of your version of this. Moving on, check your in-game settings, have them all low, literally shadows, textures, post-processing, view distance, draw distance, whatever it's called, set it all to low. And your frame rate limit, have this set to your closest monitor's refresh rate to avoid, you know, big jumps in frames. So if you're on 60 hertz, 60 um, FPS, you can maybe push to 100 in this case, depends on your system. But if you're watching this video, yeah, probably 60, 60 FPS, 120 hertz, 120 FPS, 140, you get the picture. And then if you're still having issues, verify your game files. And if you need to do so, reinstall your game entirely. This can actually, you know, it's a clean reinstall. It can fix things, honestly. To do this, uh, Steam will have this option, I think as well, but at least for like Fortnite in your Epic Games launcher, if you, there's like three dots, you know, next to, in your library next to Fortnite, you can actually click in there and it, there'll be an option to verify. Just click that. I do want to make it clear that this could potentially, I think I, I'm, I'm, I'm like 99% sure that this resets your game config entirely, which means all your in-game settings will also reset. So you will have to re-optimize them, but luckily your boy has a whole video on that. So I probably won't link it. So just go on my channel, look for it. It will definitely help you out. But that's everything. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and may peace be upon you.